So we're back. So here we are. It's about uh, three or four degrees this morning. We're just going to break these knives out of the ice. First, what I'm going to do is just take this uh, coated GSO 4.1 and just stab down through the ice to retrieve the other knives. I'm not going to cheat and come from the bottom. I just I'm curious about how the tip holds up with uh, repeated stabbing into a hard surface like ice. So let's get to it. So this is a pretty hard block of ice. And there's my precious. Go get her. I'm going to break off some of the corners with this hammer pommel. as a hammering device. Uh, all right, let's see how this does. in the air we can stop by for a uh, cocktail later. This one is the 20 CV blade, and this is a PVD coated with a uh, silver coating uh, CPM 3V blade. So uh, let's get started with the test. So before we get started here, I just uh, almost forgot, I just want to show everybody the tip of that knife after it filling a roll as an ice pick. And so there it is. All right. First thing I wanted to do is do some tip strength testing with these frozen blades. See if anything's going to snap or fail because of the extreme cold. It's a little icy, so I'm going to go get a baton, and I'll be right back. I got the beaten stick here. We can get back to it. Uh, this is just all icy. I didn't want to take a chance of slipping and cutting myself. So uh, let's get back to it here. I know in some other videos, people ask, why do I do things like this? 
and why don't I do more sensible tests of the knife? We don't have a lot of time to get out in the field and do things, so we do things around the shop here. And really, all I'm trying to show you is the durability of the tool. If you're looking for field craft or bush crafting things, a lot of our customers make those videos showing off some of the finer points of the knives. But really, I just like to beat the crap out of stuff. Once we get moved out to Idaho in our new location, we'll try to get out in the field a bit more to do some more sensible reviews. We'll be right next to the woods, so we'll be able to entertain some of that. You can really see that blade flexing. This is the CPM 20 CV, 530 seconds thick. Uh, so there we go, that's the CPM 20 CV blade. Let's do a little bit of that with the 3V. There were some customers out there wondering about the performance of that. So we'll take this factory second here and get to it. there but still no tip failure. Right. I'm gonna cut this short a little bit. I can't feel my fingertips right now so uh, I'm gonna go on to some chopping but I think you guys can see that uh, these steels will hold up to any type of flexing or anything uh, in really cold weather so uh, let's see how they do against a little bit of shock just fine. Let's come 
back to the CPM 20 CV. So no edge degradation. I'm going to go on and do a little bit of batoning now. His fingers are cold. So there you go. I hope that uh, satisfied any questions out there. Uh, I think both our CPM3V and our CPM20CV are an outstanding steel choice. Uh, if you're looking for something lower maintenance with really good edge holding, I'd go for the CPM20CV. And if you're able to maintain your blade and want something even tougher, uh, the CPM3V blade is excellent. Both are very high quality crucible steels. Thank you. Have a nice day. Getting back to work.
Okay, so before we sign off here, I just wanted to do one last little test here with something a little more delicate. And uh, gonna... so after all that work, let's check the 3D. They still both are plenty sharp. Oop. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video and stop by again.